look at the first question. In the following question, some part of the sentence have errors. So this is basically error correction. So you have to find out that which part of the sentence is having an error. Okay, so just select the part so that number is going to be the answer. Uh, we're going to read the sentence completely. Could you please give me a postal address of the Indian Embassy in New York? Okay, see here the error is this article. This article. Why is this an error? Because see uh, postal address of the Indian Embassy. So there we should be using a definite article. A and an are indefinite articles. We cannot use a or an before this postal address of the Indian Embassy. Okay. So particular address is mentioned. Therefore, we should have used a definite article here. Uh, okay. This this should have been the. So the, there is an error in the second part of the sentence. So the answer is going to be two. The answer is going to be two. Look at the next question. Short stories and poems of varying quality appears in dailies and periodicals. See the subject of the sentence is short stories and poems. Short stories and poems, which is a plural. This is plural. Plural. So we should not have used appears here. Okay, the correct word to use here should have been appear appear because this these are two things they are plural so we should have used appear okay so there is a error in the third part of the sentence third part answer is going to be option three fine one of the most dangerous diseases aids one of the most uh, dangerous disease okay see one of the is always used before a number of things okay one of the is followed by a plural noun or pronoun but here it is we have written most dangerous disease which is wrong which is an error so uh, this should have been diseases diseases so this is an error in the second part second part so answer is going to be option two Okay, the next question. In the following question, sentences are given with blanks to be filled in appropriate word. So we have to select the correct alternative. Throughout his career, his performance has be, uh, fairly been consistent. See, consistent means consistent means uh, same, almost same. Okay, not a lot of improvement, not a lot of drop. Okay, consistent. Consistence is a consistent is a adjective. Okay. Consistent is an adjective happening in the same way over a period of time. Consistent. Consistence is not adjective. Consistence is a process. Okay. So here, here we are going to use consistent. Option two. I convey my thanks dash the members of the club. Okay. So the correct option here is going to be two. You convey thanks to somebody. Okay. Thanks to somebody for something. So if if we had to use for, this should have been I convey my thanks for something, some reason. But since they are asking to, uh, they are mentioning some people, then you convey thanks to. Okay, convey thanks to member of the club. Fine. So the answer is going to be option three. Look at the next question. In the following questions, out of the four alternatives, choose the one which best expresses the meaning of given word. Okay, so this is uh, just like a word meaning. You have to tell the uh, meaning of the question, of the question word. Humorous. Humorous means witty. Humorous is an adjective. Adjective. It describes a quality, and it means funny, funny or entertaining. Okay, funny or entertaining. And so does witty mean. Okay, innovative means which has ideas for new things. Okay, you have some fresh ideas, new ideas. That is innovative. Fashionable has nothing to do with uh, your entertaining nature. Fashionable is something to do with your uh, clothing sense or maybe something like that. Timid is uh, naive. Okay, so humorous means witty. Next is gather. Gather means to collect. Okay, to collect things. Now it is a verb. Gather is a verb which means to bring together or collect, congregate. So the synonym of gather is going to be congregate. See scatter, disperse, and separate. All of them means to separate things or to spread up things, which are antonyms of gather. Right. 
Look at the next question. Now you have to choose an antonym. Antonym means opposite word. Word which means the opposite of the given word. So slave is somebody who works for you. Okay, who is work follow your command. So the opposite for slave is going to be master. Master. Slave is somebody who follows your commands, okay, or who does all the work you tell them. Somebody who is under your guidance, your commandment. Master is someone who is going to give the commands, okay. So uh, he is legally owned. The slave is legally owned by another person and forced to work for them. Master is the one who has people working for them. So the antonym of slave is going to be master. Now see landlord, landlord is somebody who rents you a home, okay, who is going to give you some uh, home shop or some property something, that is landlord, tenant is if you are living at somebody's home, you are paying rent to somebody, then you are tenant, fine. Now egoist, egoist means a person who thinks that he or she is better than others, better than others and talks about himself or herself, fine, this is a selfish kind of person, selfish. Egoist is selfish, a one who thinks he is superior to others, okay, so it's selfish kind of person. So uh, opposite to this antonym is going to be selfless, selfless, fine. Get the next question now. In the following questions, four alternatives are given for the EDM phrase printed in bold and we have to choose an alternative one word which expresses the which can replace these two three words. I have told you time and again not to make this mistake. So here you have to find a word which can replace time and again. So the answer is going to be often, often. Time and again means at regular intervals, frequently. So it does not mean always. Always is like uh, uh, every time, okay. Often means frequently, frequently. Sometimes means frequency is less. Rarely means on very few times so time and again can be replaced by often next question he handled the situation with an iron fist iron fist so iron fist is uh, this is this means that somebody behaves in a way that they treat people severely severely they are treating people severely or strictly okay so he's handled the situation with an iron fist that means he handled the situation strictly okay taking control of things Fine. Now, uh, look at the next question. Question number 72. She is leaving the country. She is leaving the country for good. She is leaving the country for good. So, uh, for good this means temporarily. Temporarily. She is leaving the country temporarily. Fine. You can replace this uh, for good with temporarily. Now, look at the next question. In the following question, a part of the sentence is printed in bold. And below are given alternatives to the bold part which may improve the sentence. Okay, so you just have to see that this, if there is any possible uh, option which can, uh, which, which, with which we can replace this word so that the sentence improving, uh, improves. Sorry, so the sentence improves. It has been raining since morning. Okay, see, whenever uh, we are using since, since is used for uh, describing the point of time where an event started. Okay where an event started for is used for describing a duration for 10 years for 5 years for 2 days okay whenever you have to describe a definite duration of time then we are using for during is used for the time period okay during day during night from means from we are using generally if you are uh, if you are if you want to describe a point of time which is which has been in near past or near future okay from suppose from uh, december something like that since describes a particular point of time from where the event is happening at uh, from which the event is happening so here raining since morning is correct correct statement so we do not need any improvement fine so the answer is going to be no improvement no improvement now i'm neither a poet nor a philosopher okay fine see 
नीदर एंड नॉर आर ऑलवेज यूज टूगेदर इन अ सेंटेंस ओके नीदर नॉर ईदर और दे कम इन पेयर ओनली इफ यू आर यूजिंग नीदर इन अ सेंटेंस यू हैव टू यूज नॉर बट सिंस यू आर यूजिंग एन आर्टिकल हेयर विद द पोएट यू शुड यूज अ आर्टिकल हेयर विद द फिलोसफर ऑल्सो सो द आंसर टू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आई एम नीदर अ पोएट नॉर अ फिलोसफर Nor a philosopher. So the answer for uh, question number seventy four is going to be option three. Option three, right? Uh, look at the next question. He was hung for murder. He was hung for murder. See, uh, okay, you must have learned about hang, hanged, hung. Hung is the third form, right? But for murder, if we are using he was with was, you are going to use hanged, hanged. ओके हैंग इज द पास्ट एंड हंग इज द पास्ट पार्टिसिपल ओके हंग हैंग ओके यू माइट हैव यू माइट नो हैंग हैंग टू किल बाय टाइंग टू किल बाय टाइंग अराउंड नेक एंड ड्रॉप एंड ड्रॉप ओके दिस दिस इज वन हैंग another hang another hang means attach from top attach from top fine right? attach from top so this hang this hang is the is this hang is the present hanged is the past and hanged only is the past participle okay past and past participle both are hanged only for this one we are having hang is the present and hung is the past here hung is the past so somebody hanged for murder is correct but hung for murder is wrong okay so we we will we will have he was hanged for murder option 2 is going to be the correct option look okay, at the next question question number 76 so you have to tell one word for the given sentence an act of violence to take control of a plane this is hijack hijack fine the correct option is hijack hold as hostage means hold as hostage means when you kidnap somebody kidnapping means when you uh, forcefully uh, take somebody to a undesired location do, they do not want to go there maybe so if without their consent if you are taking somebody that is kidnap abduct is also almost same in meaning okay hold as hold, hostage uh, so all these things are uh, for if the, you are doing some act of violence to take control of a plane completely of complete plane that is known as hijack now look at the next question one who is all powerful one who is all powerful is known as omnipotent omni means all all okay omni directional means in all direction omni one who is all powerful is omnipotent omni means all potent means power power so omnipotent is all powerful now that which cannot be believed something unbelievable is known as incredible 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 means something which cannot be credited which cannot be believed right just tough to believe uh, now in the following question group of four words are given and you have to uh, find which one is correctly spelled which one is correctly spelled so see elocution the, this this word is Uh, okay this is the correct spelling for this word elocution elocution means the ability to uh, speak correctly elocution ability to speak ability to speak clearly and clearly and correctly elocution okay eloquent eloquent is the related adjective now uh juxtaposition juxtaposition this is the correct spelling for juxtaposition and it is putting people or things together to show a contrast or a new relationship putting putting people putting people or things together to show show contrast or contrast or new relationship contrast or new relationship okay that is known as juxtaposition 
fine so this was all about the english section now you have 20 questions from the section of hindi so from hindi language also we are having 20 questions we're just going to look at them one by one so the first question is निम्नलिखित प्रश्न के वाक्यों में से कुछ में त्रुटियां हैं और कुछ ठीक है त्रुटियां इज एरर्स ओके सो दिस इज आल्सो एरर करेक्शन यू जस्ट हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट जिस भी पार्ट में एरर है वो आपको बताना है इसमें मैं फल लेने गई थी बाजार में भारी भरकम भीड़ था बाजार में चलना मुश्किल था ठीक है ओके सो सी मैं फल लेने गई थी इज करेक्ट इट इज दिस सेंटेंस दिस पार्ट इज करेक्ट बाजार में भारी भरकम भीड़ था सी भारी भरकम भीड़ थी इज शुड हैव बी नियर शुड बी हैविंग भारी भरकम भीड़ थी भीड़ था इज रॉन्ग सो द आंसर फॉर दिस पार्ट इज गोइंग टू बी सेकेंड वन सेकेंड साहित्य और समाज में घोर संबंध है दोनों दूसरे के पूरक हैं साहित्य के बिना समाज की कल्पना बेकार है ठीक है तो एरर इन दिस सेंटेंस इज गोइंग टू बी सेंटेंस इज गोइंग टू बी फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट सी साहित्य और समाज में घोर संबंध है इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस इट शुड हैव मीन साहित्य और समाज में घनिष्ठ संबंध है ओके दिस वर्ड इज रॉन्ग दिस वर्ड घोर इज रॉन्ग हेयर इट शुड हैव मीन घनिष्ठ फाइन नाउ सी दिस नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस मेरी सहेली लगातार रोए जा रही थी उसके आंसू रुक नहीं रहे थे मेरी रुमाल भी आंसू से भीग गया मेरी रुमाल इज रॉन्ग हेयर मेरा रुमाल शुड हैव बीन हेयर सो वी आर हैविंग एरर इन थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस कहते हैं नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस निम्नलिखित प्रश्न के वाक्यों में रिक्त स्थानों की उचित शब्दों द्वारा पूर्ति के लिए चार चार विकल्प दिए गए हैं राइट सेम काइंड ऑफ सेम पैटर्न ओके जस्ट हैव टू पुट वन वर्ड इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस गांधी जी ने विश्व शांति के लिए प्रेम और अहिंसा का मार्ग बताया अहिंसा इज नॉन वायलेंस प्रेम इज लव ओके सो गांधी जी महात्मा गांधी फॉर वर्ल्ड पीस ही सजेस्टेड लव एंड नॉन वायलेंस दैट इज वॉट देंटेंस इज से नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आशा का डैश जीवन के अंधकार को दूर करता है आशा का दीपक दीपक मींस लाइट सोर्स ऑफ लाइट सो सोर्स ऑफ लाइट दैट इज नोन एज दीपक ओके फाइन सो आशा मींस होप ओके होप इन लाइट इन लाइफ समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके Now they are asking for synonyms. Okay, Syn- you just have to tell the synonyms of the given word. धरती धरती मीन्स अर्थ धरती पक्ष मीन्स टेकिंग समबडी साइड विपक्ष ऑपोजिशन सो द एंटोनिम फॉर पक्ष इज गोइंग टू बी विपक्ष अनुरक्ति अनुरक्ति मीन्स स्पेस ब्लैंक विरक्ति मीन्स ओवर ऑफ समथिंग सो एंटोनिम ऑफ अनुरक्ति इज विरक्ति नाउ दे हैव गिवन दे गिवन फोर सेंटेंसेस इन ईच क्वेश्चन एंड दे आर सेइंग दैट ओनली वन ऑफ देम इज फ्री ऑफ एरर्स इज ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाइड विच सेंटेंस इज ग्रामेटिकली राइट मेरा ध्यान अपने मित्र की ओर था दिस इज करेक्ट मेरे ध्यान मेरे मित्र की ओर थे दिस इज रॉन्ग इवन इफ यू आर हैविंग मल्टीपल फ्रेंड्स द सेंटेंस शुड हैव बीन मेरा ध्यान मेरे मित्रों की ओर था मुझका ध्यान अपने मित्र की ओर था दिस इज रॉन्ग मेरे ध्यान अपने मित्र की ओर थे रॉन्ग सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन गोइंग टू बी फर्स्ट वन लुक एट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन संभवता संभवता मीन्स पॉसिबली ओके उनका आना निश्चित है सी यू कैन नॉट यूज पॉसिबली एंड श्योरिटी इन सेम सेंटेंस संभवता मीन्स पॉसिबली निश्चित मीन्स श्योर कन्फर्म सो वी कैन नॉट यूज टू वर्ड्स विच वन विच इज डिफाइनिंग अनसर्टेनिटी अदर विच इज डिफाइनिंग सर्टेनिटी इन अ सिंगल सेंटेंस निश्चित है उनका आना दिस इज एन इनकम्प्लीट सेंटेंस सो दिस इज रॉन्ग संभवता निश्चित है उनका आना अगेन यू कैन नॉट यूज बोथ दीज वर्ड्स इन सेम सेंटेंस उनका आना निश्चित है दिस इज राइट सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन फोर ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन युवकों में निराशा छाई हुई है दिस इज करेक्ट टू कैट अदर ऑप्शन ऑल्सो निराशावाद युवकों में छाई हुई है निराशावाद नहीं होना चाहिए इट शुड हैव बीन निराशा युवकों में छाई हुई है अगेन यू कैन नॉट यू निराशावाद ओके फाइन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट वन 
Look at the next question. Uh, so they have given uh, okay. Th this is known as Muhavra Lokokti. So they have given uh, one Muhavra Lokokti, and they are asking you for the meaning. So first one is Ghat Ghat ka pani pina. Ghat Ghat ka pani pina means alag alag paristhitiyo ka anubhav hona. This is the correct option. Ghat Ghat ka pani pina means you have been to a lot of places and you have a lot of different experience. You have faced the difficulties of life. Fine. So this is what it means. Alag alag paristhitiyo ka anubhav hona. Jaisi karni, waisi bharni. This means that whatever you sow, you are going to reap the same. Okay. So jaisi karni, waisi bharni. This means कर्म के अनुसार फल प्राप्त होता है यू विल रीप वॉट एवर यू सो दूर के ढोल सुहावने होते हैं दूर के ढोल सुहावने होने का मतलब मीन्स uh, दैट uh, दूर से यू सी दिस दिस मीन्स दैट इफ यू आर सींग फ्रॉम डिस्टेंस इफ यू आर नॉट ट्राइंग फॉर समथिंग यू आर जस्ट सींग दिस यू फील एवरी थिंग इज गुड वेन यू गेट इन टू समथिंग वेन यू एक्चुअली ट्राई टू डू इट यू यू कम टू नो अबाउट द डिफिकल्टीज सो दिस मीन्स दैट दूर से साधारण वस्तु भी अच्छी लगती है राइट इन दिस टाइप इन दिस मॉडल यू वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज they have uh, given a uh, one word to replace the given part of sentence they given a sentence the a part of a sentence and they are asking you to replace it with a single word fine jo sanvidhan ke pratikul ho sanvidhan means constitution pratikul means something not abiding to constitution okay sanvidhan ke pratikul ho it is known as illegal or asanvidhanik unconstitutional asanvidhanik means unconstitutional right जो कठिनाई से भेदा या तोड़ा जा सके विच इज टफ टू कॉन्कर राइट इट इज नोन एज दुर्भेद्य दुर्भेद्य टफ टू कॉन्कर और ब्रेक दुर्भेद्य आदि से अंत तक आदि से अंत तक मीन्स फ्रॉम स्टार बिगिनिंग टू एंड फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग टू एंड नोन एज आद्यंत आद्यंत एंड दिस दिस इज द वन वर्ड टू रिप्लेस दिस सेंटेंसेज पार्ट ऑफ सेंटेंसेज ओके so uh, this is also a kind of error correction they are just asking you to identify the correctly spelled word okay so a uh, correct spelling of ujwal ujwal means which can bring light jo ujala kar sake so correct spelling for ujwal is this one this is going to be the correct option bahishkar means to get rid of something okay to uh, just eradicate something which is correct spelling is this one fine so uh, this was all about section a we have covered a complete section a for dssb uh, pgt thank you for watching this video i hope you get good ranks clear paper with flying colors if you want us to record something else also you can just leave it in comments we'll try and cover that uh, very soon as soon as possible we are also trying to cover this paper in hindi language as soon as possible that too and uh, if you want us to cover more of model papers just leave it in comments thank you for watching this video signing off